Hello everybody, um, this is Amin Mojara with Imagination Everywhere and Rhea Institute and I'm happy to be back with you. Um, this video is about Visual Studio uh, 2010 and the beta of 2010, the second beta of 2010 that just released. Uh, I decided to install it on my machine now that I know that it's the official release will um, come in March 2000, uh, March 22nd, 2010. So, but with the beta, I can still do uh, all my development of Silverlight and even install the PHP extensions to do PHP development. So I wanted to install it on my system, and this is going to be a separate category from the Silverlight 3 um, video series and the PHP pair video series. Um, and we're just going to explore uh, video Visual Studio 2010. I want to let you know that in all the videos, um, that you know they're going to come steadily over time. I am working on a number of IT projects that we have contracts on, so. I'm doing these videos for free and because I have a passion for it, but I am making money in IT, so um, I have to put my work first as I have to pay the bills, uh, which I'm glad to do, but in order for you, if you're not in IT and you're trying to get a career in IT, I hope these vi videos uh, help you out because videos and reading and, and practicing uh, my IT skills was the way I was able to get into the uh, industry so I just want to let you know that you know I'm working so if you don't see a video one or two days a new video and one or two or three days just know that I'm working so um, but I've installed Visual Studio 2010 on the system and here you go uh, as you can see it's a very rich nice graphical user interface um, if you open up the new project uh, dialog box right here um, I don't know why it's you know sometimes these betas just take a long time, but also just know that you can ins that you can have it uh, side by side with Visual Studio 2008. But if we go back, as you can see, um, if we uh, if I can stretch open this dialog box, as you can see, we have the .dot Network 4, which you need, <coughs> which is the net, which is the framework you need for Visual Studio 2008. I mean 2010. Um, also with the beta uh, professional uh, uh, edition you got tools for office uh, if you've got 2008 professional you know you have that um, you have the cloud services you can uh, enable with uh, Windows Azure tools tools now the one difference with uh, the beta right now is they don't have a dot RIA services um, extension so you're not going to see the business uh, uh, application for Silverlight um, but you can you can test um, and then under the inst extensibility please make sure that you download the uh, please make sure that you uh, download let me go under um, other projects in extensibility please make sure you download the SDK for both Visual Studio 2008 and 2010 and uh, you can get those uh, downloads from uh, MSDN as you can see they've remade the MSDN development site and these are the links to the SDKs and make sure that you not only download the 2010 SDK beta but also the beta 2 SDK DSL um, so please make sure you you do that because um, you're not gonna you're not gonna get certain project templates like the uh, the uh, stu Visual Studio uh, visu Visual Studio integration package. You're not going to be able to do that in the, in the domain uh, specific language designer, and that's both in 2010. And if we go to new projects, um, as you can see, that's in also in 2008. So please make sure that you uh, that that you do that you do that in the uh, uh, when you when you uh, install Visual Studio on your system and the SDKs uh, have their own uh, GUIs and everything so like with 2008 the SDK GUI looks like this and actually I have it down here in my um, in my taskbar uh, so here's the GUI for 2000, um, 2008 so you know you can you can look at all the samples and everything else um, that it has and you can open them up in Visual Studio and just know that um, 
I do have Windows 7. I know you guys are looking to see, well, you know, he's 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 an IT developer. Where's the Windows 7? Well, this is the version of Windows that I'm running right now is Vista Ultimate. And when I purchased it, uh, I told him to ship Windows 7 when it was released. And I called Microsoft yesterday, and they said it's on back order uh, for three weeks. So by November 13th, I should have Windows uh, 7 installed on my pri on my primary system. I still have the release candidate on my other two systems, but I wanted to show you the, the ones the 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 primary system that I'm using as as my production environment. All those other systems are just test environments. This is actually where I produce my applications. So. Uh, so uh you know that's the reason why I don't have Windows 7 on here but just to let you know that Windows Vista Ultimate is like Windows 7 Lite you know um I can do some things that uh uh in Windows Vista that you know the same thing that you could do in Windows 7 you can do some snapping and some some stacking and uh you know you can do some you can do some things with uh uh, Windows Vista that that you can do with uh, Windows 7. I have Windows Media Center, but that's not what the focus of this tutorial is on. Um, if we go to the new projects, there's some other things with Silverlight that you want to know. And 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 actually, I need to bring up the uh, Silverlight website uh, because uh, those of you who are watching my Silverlight series know that Visual Studio uh, 2010 uh, affects the way Blend runs, but not really in any big way. But just to let you know that you know, um, if we open up a Silverlight project in um, in the Visual Studio 2010, just know that you know you get three three uh, uh, you get three choices, and also um, you get a uh, the Silverlight version 3.0 um, they used to let you do multi-targeting but I guess in this uh, well let me see you can enable the dot net uh, RIA services but if we go ahead and open it up right quick as you can see uh, with uh, with uh, 2010 again the uh, XAML editor is a is a truly uh, true what you see what you can what you get editor um, and that's with all the uh, editors um, in uh, Visual Studio um, as you know uh, but with 2008 they didn't have a what you see what you get a XAML editor uh, if you especially if you installed a uh, version 3.0 of Silverlight so so as you can see if we go to the uh, toolbox uh, here for Silverlight we have a uh, common Silverlight controls and as you know you can just drag them onto the surface you can move it around just like in blend so they have the truly what you see what you can get uh, situation but now say if we wanted to uh, open this project in blend yeah we're gonna save it so we're gonna open it in blend and as you can see in blend you get this message just just you know uh, ignore this and just keep going that's the only thing I wanted to show you that but everything else is basically the same same thing with this uh, this message right here and if you go to Tim Hewer's blog here's Tim Hewer's blog on the whole situation of blend and and silverlight so and as you can see it opened up in in, in blend so thank you for watching this uh, this video and uh you know we're going to do a whole separate like i said a whole separate ser series on visual studio 2010